Um, all right, I'm going to tell you a story about my dad um, who passed away toward the end of last year. Um, Dad had what I'd call a pretty typical life for someone who grew up in the 50s. He's physically active as a young kid. He used to walk to school, um, barefoot he used to tell me, played a lot of sport as a kid. Um, then he actually came from a broken home, which was very unusual back in the 50s. His mum um, packed up the kids and left an abusive father, which was pretty unusual. Um, Dad had to go out to work when he was 14. Um, he started work in the post office. He started work delivering mail on a bike. So he got his physical activity every day at work, but he's a very smart guy and um, he went a long way in his career. So pretty quickly he was off the bike and after two or three years he was behind the counter and then they shuffled him off to management. Um, he still kept playing sport. He, um, I know he played tennis against Rod Laver in a final once in Queensland, which he used to say that he lost six love, six love, and he won three points, two of which were double faults by Rod Laver. But, um, then he got married, had kids, stopped playing sport, stopped being physically active, more time in the boardroom, more time behind the desk. Um, his only physical activity was a bit of backyard cricket with me, um, playing footy as well. And then when I got older, um, all his, only thing he'd do was he'd drive me to matches. We'd go and watch Carlton Footy Club games on the weekend. It was the 80s, we used to win back then, so that was kind of um, pretty good. Um, but for Dad, he's just stopped being active and put all his life into his career. Um, it caught up with him at 62. He got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, he managed to survive, um, probably luckily, um, but he lived a pretty rough life after that. You know, he had a lot of health problems that just caught up with him. Um, they say with type 2 diabetes, it's pretty insidious disease. You know, normally you either suffer from the feet or the head, but with type 2, you suffer from both. He lost his mobility. Um, he, you know, got pretty cranky as he got older as um, some people do when they're struggling with their health. Um, you know, and I sort of think about Dad and think, well, he, what could he have done to avoid that? Could it have been better? And if he had kept his activity going, and I, I know myself every day, um, have a similar life in that I play sport once a week still, but it's not enough. You know, I've got to do more physical activity. Um, so I make sure I ride my bike, I ride to work, I pull my bike out of the back of the car, and, you know, every day I get on the bike and I think about it and think, you know, if only Dad had have done that, he would have, one, enjoyed the second, you know, the last part of his life more, but also there's some things he just won't get to see. You know, he won't get to see um, uh, his grandchildren get married. Um, he won't get to find out whether Patrick Cripps ever holds a Premiership Cup aloft. Um, there's things you'll miss, and, you know, I just think for everyone, we need to keep that in mind and make sure that we really do keep ourselves physically active, both for ourselves and for our families.